What's up YouTube Sky, that one guy here, and today we're going to be opening up two of the Chaos Boxes. So these are the Chaos Boxes you can find at Walmart. They're made from the company MJ Holding, and today we're going to be comparing the original version, this one right here, with the new version. So this is the new version, uh, it's only maybe a few weeks old, uh, and this is the original version, it's probably a few months old by now, if not longer. And uh, you, you can find this one at Walmart every once in a while, but it's pretty rare. And this one should be at uh, pretty much all Walmarts now. So again, these are from the company MJ Holding. As you can see, sorry, I had to see through the camera there. So this one is the 2018 version. So it's last year's version. And this is the 2019 version, so the current version. So we'll refer to this as version 1 and version 2. So we're going to compare them today and see which one is better. Real quick before we open those, I'm doing another round of the one free booster pack giveaway. For those of you in the U.S., just like this video, comment, and subscribe. And if you do those three things, you'll be entered. And I'll choose at least one winner from this video to choose one free pack. And you can also choose uh, Infinity Chasers if you want all hollow pack. Uh, I just don't have one of those right next to me. But again, uh, yeah, just uh, like this video, comment, and subscribe, and you'll be entered. So let's... Uh, open these up and compare. So I'm going to start with the new one. So they both come with eight packs, but this one comes with uh, four booster packs, four duelist packs, and one figure hanger. So pretty cool box. They they definitely changed the artwork up a little bit. Sorry, just comparing real quick. So they changed the artwork up a little bit, but uh, yeah, so let's get into the new one. Oh, and I didn't, wow, I didn't bring my scissors. We are going to have to I think this is the first video I've ever done without having my scissors next to me. Wow. Sorry, guys. I am already too far into the video. We're going to have to just power through this. Ugh. Okay. Sorry, guys. Pretty sure this is the first video I've done without scissors next to me. Unprepared. Okay. So let's see what we can get. Our figure hanger is... Uh, oh wow, is that is that a red eyes? Is that what that is? Alright, somebody is gonna hate me if I'm wrong, but go ahead and correct me, but I, is that a red eyes? I think that's a red eyes. We're going with that. It looks cool. It's way different than the Gate Guardian I got. That one looked a little bit more fake. This one looks uh, almost more real. Almost uh, definitely better, better detail on it. So that's actually pretty cool. I'll take that as a win. On the uh, figure hanger so for the packs let's get those out of here and Millennium pack and we got four duelist pack Yugi's again so I guess uh, no duelist pack Kaiba's also I opened this uh, once before so if you want to check that video out go ahead and two Raging Tempest and an Extreme Force so I think that's the exact same eight packs I got on my last one so I don't know if that's common or if I just uh, had the bad luck of the draw or whatever, so let's get right into it. We have 16 packs open in this video. Eight in this one and eight in the other, so I should stop slacking and get into Extreme Force. So mainly looking to get um, an Ultra Rare here, but uh, or an Ultra or a Secret Rare, but Mech Knight, Orange Sunset, Link Hole, Tindangle, Column Switch, and there can be only one. Okay. So if you're going to get a super rare, at least we got the uh, super rare that's worth about $4. So that's actually a win. Um, and I don't think I said it in the start, but uh, I believe these are these chaos boxes are $20 at Walmart. So not, not too crazy for how many packs you get. Uh, it's somewhat fair price. So World Legacy, Ghost Trick, and uh, Tin Dangle. Alright, so pretty good hollow start. I will definitely take that. So two packs of Raging Tempest. And that didn't open well. So let's see if we can get some Zodiacs. Eater of Millions. Shino Bird. Miscellaneous Saurus. Rank Up. Shino Baron Peacock. And Zodiac Rat Pierce. So just like I said, we're going to get some Zodiacs. That's cool. Um, I will definitely take a Rat Pierce. So two Super Rares so far. Nothing crazy. Um, I'm going to... Speed up a little bit faster than I usually do just because we have a little bit more packs than usual. So, um, Zodiac Bunny Blast. The same rare. That's strange. And Brave Eyes Pendulum Dragon. A secret rare. Wow. Awesome. I will take a secret rare. It's definitely not that expensive, but uh, 
you know, secret rares are only, you know, like two per box or so. So I will definitely take a first edition secret rare. Definitely a cool looking card. That is a awesome hit. I will take that. All right, so let's get into the Millennium Pack. So the rest of the remaining packs are not guaranteed a hollow. So let's uh, see if we can beat those odds. If I can get the pack open. Wow, failing. Okay. So Kunai with Chain, Shrink, Pendulum Machine, Crush Card Virus, and Visor Deaths. No hollow there, that's all right. Now let's get into the four Duelist Pack Yugi's. So I'd really like to see a Dark Magician Girl here. That's the main goal of this pack, or of this uh, set. Buster Blader. Ooh, Sorcerer of Dark Magic. I'll actually take that. That's one of the more expensive super rares of the set. I will definitely take that. He's a cool card, and uh, yeah, it looks great. All right, doing good so far, you guys. And Black Luster Soldier was the rare. All right, here we go. Queen's Knight, Diffusion Wave Motion, Red Gadget, Brain Control, and Magical Hats. So just a rare there. Now these packs sure do rip open awkwardly. Okay, Yellow Gadget, Jack's Knight, Spellbinding Circle, Red Gadget, and Marshmallow. Actually a pretty cool rare. I think it holds a little bit of value, nothing crazy, but maybe like a dollar. I will take that. And uh, Duelist Pack Yugi, pack number four. So the last pack of the brand new or newer Chaos Box. So let's see if we can get it open. Can we end that box on a hollow? Jack's Knight, Green Gadget, Red Gadget, Queen's Knight, and Dark Magician. So nothing too crazy, but I will definitely take a Dark Magician. No problems there. All right, so box number one down. Um, uh, nothing too crazy, but you know what? A secret rare and two pretty good super rares. I'll take it. So now let's open up the original Chaos box with the seven booster packs, one foreign booster pack. So eight packs total. I'd love to get Battles of Legend. That'd be pretty sweet. So let's see what we can do and let's see how the old box compares to the new box. Again, I don't have scissors, so I'm just gonna rip this open really quick, hopefully. Okay. All right, so let's see how this box compares. I wonder what foreign booster pack we're gonna get because we get one foreign booster pack. Oh wow, I don't think I've ever seen a blister pack come out of this. That's crazy. Dragons of Legends Unleashed. That's cool. I'll take that. That's a first for me. And I've opened up quite a few of these. All right, rest of the packs are here. Let's see what we got. We have a Maximum Crisis. Awesome. I will take that. Wing Raiders. And... So our foreign pack is Primal Origin, and it looks like it's in French, I think, first edition. So Primal Origin is our foreign pack. The rest of the packs is Raging Tempest, Code of the Duelist, Wing Raiders again, and Pendulum Evolution. So let's start with the Blister pack, and then we'll go right to left from there. Alright, so Dragon's Legend Unleashed. Let's see what we can get out of here. Dragons of Legends Unleashed. I think this is, yeah, five cards per pack. It's an all hollow pack. All right. Wiretap, that's a good card. I will take that. Timius, the Knight of Destiny. Number 78, Number Archive. Machine Angel Ritual, and our secret rare is Cyber Angel Ben 10. Wow, that's actually perfect timing. This actually just got bought out not too long ago. Um, I haven't checked its price recently, but uh, I know it, got, it went up to like seven or eight bucks. So um, even if it you know dropped back down to four or five, that's still still good. So we'll we'll definitely take that. We'll say it's around a five dollar card. Um, hopefully, unless it went back down even further. So. 
pretty good there. So let's get into Raging Tempest again. And uh, let's see what we can do. Hopefully we can keep this good luck going. Mechanical Arc Fiend. Speedroid Gum Prize. Eater of Millions. Ancient Gear Howitzer. And Spiral Tough is the rare. And Delta the Magnet Warrior is the super rare. Alright, nothing crazy there, but... Let's keep going. We got more packs to go. So, Code of the Duelist. Let's see if we can get a Firewall Dragon. That'd actually be pretty cool. Thindred. And Goki Twist Cobra is a super rare. Alright, I will, I will take that again. Nothing too crazy. But still plenty of packs to go. I'm gonna, we're going to go with the two Wing Raider packs now. Raid Raptor, Gym Knight Pearl, Super Quantile, Raid Raptor again, and Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon is the rare. And Super Quantile Green Lair is the super rare. So actually the Dark Rebellion, I think this holds like a dollar, maybe a buck fifty value. So that's actually pretty good. We will pull that out for now. And let's open up the other Wing Raiders pack. There's some pretty good commons in this set. Number 66, Rhoda, Raid Raptor, Call of the Haunted, and Swallow's Nest. And again, another pretty decent value rare. And our super rare is Phantom Knights of Silent Boots. So that's actually a pretty good one to get. I will definitely take that. Zubaba General, Shadow Veil, and Forbidden Chalice. Okay, my piles are getting a little messed up over here. Okay, three packs to go. Let's go Pendulum Evolution. Another all hollow pack, five cards per pack. And uh, the main thing I want to see from this set is Pendulum Call. So let's see if we can get lucky. Star Pendulum Graph, Double Iris Magician, Master Pendulum, Cleave Fort Scout, and Ritual Beast Tamer Zephra Windy. So nothing too crazy there, but I'll definitely take it. We're getting a good amount of hollows. And actually, I think I put the other hollows in the wrong pack or in the wrong pile, but that's all right. Okay, so Primal Origin, the foreign pack of the box. I think it's French, but uh, we'll we'll figure it out when we open it. All right, can we get a something cool in here? Let's see. Oh, I so I can't read the names. And it's definitely French, yep, F-R. Okay, Z-W. <laughs> oh, Trap Tricks Dianaria, I think it is, in English. That's a pretty cool rare, I'll take that. And, oh, no way! Wow, we got a Monarch Storm Stormforth Super Rare. This is actually like a $8 Super Rare. It's the most expensive Super Rare of the set. Wow, I will take that by far. And a number 42 Galaxy Tomahawk. Awesome. Wow, those were that was actually a really good, really, really good pack. Wow, that's awesome. What does this say? Uh Lee Eruption Des Monarchs. Probably butchered that, but that looks cool. So pretty sweet French pack. I will definitely take that. That was a hit. Okay. Very last booster pack of the video, Maximum Crisis. Can we end it strong? Uh, there's definitely some good stuff in here. Uh, I want to say, is this Ash Blossom's original set? And uh, Zark and Dragonic Diagram? Is that? I think those are all this set. I could be wrong. Let's see if we can end it strong. Hopefully, uh, maybe an Ultra Rare or a Secret Rare would be nice. Let's see. So last pack of the video. Let's see how the boxes hold up to each other. Here we go, last box, or last pack. Spiral Mission Rescue and Phantasmal Spiral Dragon is the rare. And Sylvan Princess Sprite, so not a crazy ending, but a pretty cool looking card. I will definitely take it. And Supreme King Dark Run, that's actually a good common. Okay, you guys, so again, this has been the Chaos Box version one versus version two. 
So let me know which box you guys thought was best. Again, this is the version two box was the one with the hanger and the version one box was the one with the foreign pack. So let me know which box you guys, th uh, which uh, chaos box won this video in your opinion. Let me know which one you like more than the other and uh, let me know if you guys have opened up any of these and had any luck. Um, I probably wouldn't suggest buying these, but uh, maybe save your money and just watch me open them. Let me know if you guys want me to open more of these because Walmart is pretty stocked on these so I can definitely pick up some more. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.